Breaking, Top Hash Never Trumper Launches Writing Campaign Against Roy Moore, Now It's War When faced with a brutal truth that Roy Moore is most likely going to win the Senate seat, Mitch Obama's Bitch McConnell had the idea of starting a writing campaign to put Luther Strange in his place. Too bad that fell flat on its face, but there's another Never Trumper who's still trying it again. Marine Colonel Lee Busby has announced that he is running a last-minute write-in campaign for Alabama Senate, reports Breitbart. Speaking in combat terms, the dark horse detailed his plot to steal the election from the Republicans in a sneak attack. I think you can flip this thing. If this were a military operation, the left flank and the right flank are heavily guarded. I think that gives you an opportunity to run straight up the middle. Get real, Busby. If this were a military operation, you would be shot at sunrise. In war, when someone spreads misinformation, while not wearing their military uniform, they are considered a spy and can be dealt with accordingly. Busby claims to be a conservative, but then he admits he voted for John Kosich in the primaries. Kosich was one of the most liberal candidates in the field and only won his home state of Ohio. Busby claims he voted for Trump in the general election. But there's a whole slew of reasons to doubt that. Busby originally alleged that he could win the election because he would pull votes from Jones over the abortion issue, which is also doubtful, since anyone who feels that strongly that abortion is evil would never vote for Jones anyway. What Busby didn't say, and what he doesn't want you to know, is that he recently attended a Doug Jones campaign rally. He's not really trying to get himself elected as a senator. He's just trying to break up Moore's base enough to put Jones in the seat instead. The Democrats are desperate. It is apparent that he is not serious about winning the seat, since he has no election mechanism at all. The Goldman Sachs employee could be following his company's lead in supporting the Democrats. From Breitbart Bubsy has no campaign website or any serious campaign ground game. The former aide to John Kelly hopes to rely on social media to spread the word about his campaign. Identifying himself as an independent candidate, Bubsy, who retired from the Marine Corps in 2013, intends to emphasize his experience as a military leader, as well as his background as an investment banker, defense contractor, and entrepreneur. He is not running to win, he's running to stop Roy Moore and to turn the seat over to the Democrats. If he were serious, why didn't he say that he had attended a Doug Jones campaign rally just before declaring himself a candidate? And why not hold rallies or advertise if the goal is to win and not just to stop more? And remember that Goldman Sachs prohibited campaign contributions to the Trump Benz ticket, saying they did not want to appear to be entering a pay to play deal, yet there was no restriction on contributing to the Clinton Kane ticket. In the memo, a copy of which was obtained by Fortune, Goldman specifically mentions the trump benz campaign as an example of one Goldman partners can no longer support. Among the type of donations that are banned, according to the memo, are, any federal candidate who is a sitting state or local official, for example, governor running for president or vice president, such as the Trump, Pence ticket, or mayor running for Congress, including their political action committees, PACs. At the same time, the rules do not restrict donations to Clinton Gain. Kane is a U.S. Senator for Virginia, and not considered a local official under Goldman's rules. Although the memo does say that Goldman partners are no longer able to donate to the Virginia Democratic Party, which could be a reference to Gain. Lloyd Blankton, Goldman's CEO, has declined to say who he is supporting for president, but is known as a longtime Clinton supporter. Blankton donated to Clinton when she ran against Obama is 2008. Alabama voters have not been fooled by the false allegations against Moore for sexual harassment and it's likely that they will not be fooled by this never-Trumper. Recent polls show Judge Roy Moore ahead by seven points, but there's strong reason to believe he'll win in the double digits. Remember how they skewed the polls in Hillary's favor and left the impression she would win in a landslide? How did that work out for them?